stuff on the other side of the world and I love that what we're doing goes around the world and, and I really want us to do more. But there's so much need in here in our community, in our own backyard. So my job, what I do, is I work with kids in our community, just around the corner. I want to be a church, I want to be a youth ministry, I want to be part of a youth ministry that says wherever there's a young person who's hurting, wherever there's a young person, you know, that, that needs help, that we'd be there. One of the biggest things that got me was that you don't have to go to the other side of the world to see that there's need. And then I'm like, well, what about it? What am I doing in my backyard? And it really kind of struck me and it encouraged me and kind of got me motivated to realise that, you know, the most important thing is people, you know, and to God and to us, that's what it should be the same. And we're so called to love it, love our neighbour. Five minutes down the road from church, there's communities where the kids just model what has been modelled to them, which is as far as you can get from healthy and they start becoming these people and it becomes a generational thing that builds on itself, you know, till we go, how did this happen, you know? It happens on our doorstep, it doesn't just happen on the other side of the world, it happens if we want to look for it, if we want to see it, it's there. Don't have to go far. I think the danger is in seeing the need on the other side of the planet to miss the need that's right in front of us. Whether it's in Africa, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in South America or whether it's here in Australia or in Sydney, as long as we're preaching the gospel with our actions, then I think we're fulfilling the Great Commission, which is to go out and make disciples.